our project is to basically make a car that's automatic and can sense traffic signals so that people with disabilities can drive around even though they can't and for regular people for like easier driving and more safety. So the Gold Blues project was to have it detect three different colors, red, yellow, and green, and to make it stop, slow down, and go. Um, some of the hardware I used was the Parallax Scribbler 2 robot. Um, the Scribbler robot has a lot of sensors, such as the infrared sensor, which we use the most, so it can detect the paper in front of it. And we also use the IPR group, which has a Bluetooth device, so that it can wirelessly connect to the code that we use so we can send the robot the code and also the camera which we use so that it can take a picture and determine the exact color that it holds. There were two main computer science concepts behind our project and that was to make the robot um, use color detection and computer recognition. We use color detection so it can recognize the colors on the paper, red, yellow, and green, and computer recognition so once it did detect the colors, it can decide to correspond with whether low, slow down, or stop. Also, the procedure, we just start off by taking lots of pictures. And when we took the pictures, we were determining the values for red, blue, and green for each color. And we kept on taking pictures and averaging the pixels by using the outputs of each picture that we used with the camera and the robot. And we wrote the code for the physical functions and kept running the code, modifying it, and then collecting the data for the percentages. Um, so here you can see our percentage of success. Um, our red wasn't quite as successful as the other one because um, like, it kept thinking the red was the yellow or the green, so it would either slow down or go. But the yellow was extremely successful, as you can see it always worked, and the green was somewhat successful because it would think, sometimes the robot would think green was yellow instead. And here's our source code. So this is just one third of our source code, only the detect red part. As you can see at the top, it would take a picture, and then we'll get all the red, green, and blue pixels, and then we'll take the average of them. And then using those numbers, we would make a range for each for each red, green, and blue value. And then according to that range, you would see which color it is, red, yellow, or green. And then whether it was red, yellow, or green, it would stop, slow down, or go. In this case, it would just stop. And the bottom part is our do together function, which is definitely red, green, and yellow. Some of the challenges we faced, uh, basically it was just making a range of red, green, and blue values so that it can satisfy only one color. Because that's like why, that's why like sometimes the red was confused for yellow and the green was confused, also confused for yellow. So then sometimes it would just go and stop randomly and we don't know why. So we tried to fix that and we did. And the other problem was just mainly camera problems and yeah. So this is the robot's uh, and how to take the pictures using the camera on the proof. Right there is where we took a picture of the red paper and the green paper. And this is how we start collecting our data for the red, green, and blue values by the output for each picture. <coughs> so in conclusion, our project was quite successful. We got it to slow down at yellow, go at green, and stop at red. But if we had more time, we would add more features that would make this more like a regular car, such as honk, park, and recognize other traffic. And if, if, more, if in the future scientists were able to look into this, we would see make way more automatic cars in, around, and it would be much more safe for other people. Uh, we would like to thank our TAs, Riley, Matt, Magnus, and Kurt, <coughs> Brian, Tara, and especially Shirley, because she, they, she really helped us on our project, and everyone has helped us on our project. Oh, there's like an accident.